Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Cooking Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video will be of paramount interest to you. Okay, so I did a video uh, a few days ago wherein I looked at uh, insects in your pond that is not all that bad, right? And some persons might be wondering, but I do not have ponds, so therefore um, this video might not be for me. Um, points to note from the fact that you have plants within your pond or your aquarium insects tend to come with that right uh that's one of the reasons why you also quarantine your plants so today i'll be looking at three um insects that i will consider very dangerous for your pond or your aquarium, right uh you might spot them as well as you might not spot them So the first one I'm looking at is um, the first one I'm looking at is damsel flies, right? Um, damsel flies. Uh, damsel flies are flying insects from the Odan Odanata from the Odanata order, right? Um, do you see the words on the bottom? Um, in appearance, they are, are quite similar to the dragonfly, but they are different, right? Uh, the dragonfly belong to the Anis so subtera um sub order right you'll see the word um down below the screen but are comparatively lighter in build than the the latter ones right the damsel fly are believed to exist from the period of uh call it the premium uh should i say the dinosaur period and are widely distributed on every continent um besides the antarctica right the larva stage of the damsel fly that is the dangerous um insect or should i say that is the dangerous part in which we as fish keepers should look out for right and uh, they are referred to as nymph and are also voracious and brutal predators especially when it comes on to um, consuming flies or aquatic uh life form within your aquarium tank or pond right they feed by capturing the prey as you can see on the screen they just jump and it's, it's it's sudden it's a sudden burst of energy they hold the prey and they uh, actually consume the prey now i had some uh, filament bar they spawn and they gave me about 500 fries and i placed them into some of my ponds outside and i did not know anything about nymphs and uh them to fly right and i realized that the, the stock in my fry pond started to get low you know the, i start to when i start to check i realized that the amount kind of get nimble down right so i decided to do a massive water change and i ended up set, check the substrate when i checked i saw several of these um them to fly and also um another insect in which i will mention very shortly they seem to have a, a lightning to um fish fries small fish that can actually hold in their mouth right these aquatic organisms breathe with um fin like um three external large gills and are situated at the edge of the abdomen now this organ is also used by the damsel fly or nymph to as locomotion purpose right uh just like the fish tail now their elongated and slender body seems to be evolved to adapt to fast moving water habitat i remember i saw a few of these um insects um in one of my ponds and i thought that it was a guppy and then i said that but guppy doesn't look like that and when i really look at it i realized that it was like camouflaging itself at the side of the pond to look like one of the fish and then as soon as the fish comes on to it it just holds the fish right in front of me and consume it right uh, they undergo a dozen of months before transforming into an adult damselfly 
Now a dendro fly is different from a dragonfly. This is a metamorphic stage. This is a stage where in which they actually live beneath the water, right? Uh, usually along the substrate or at the side of the ponds or uh, you know wherever you have water within your yard, right? And the, 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 the body is soft. It's amazing the body of the, the adult is soft, but the nymphs are a little bit um, tough, right? Uh, like it's, it's like it has the the same material that like say uh, uh, ants would have but you know it, ants is small so therefore the, the, the scriptiness will be a little bit more thicker right also another another um insect that you should look out for are dragonflies um nymphs now these nymphs are they are very small they come like flies and they also uh consume flies within your fish pond right they are very conniving and they can get a lot they, they tend they, they, the dragonfly tend to lay the eggs on the plant just like the snails and as soon as the the eggs are hatched the um the the, the the babies actually go down into the water and start to consume on any aquatic um creatures that exist within the tank or pond right it's amazing to see these actually transform into those um, pretty little thing that you call dragonfly flying around the waterways right uh, this is a metamorphic stage and then I have uh, another insect that is really really uh, awesome in how it looks as you can see on the screen it's fish lice now fish lice is different from water louse right fish lice just like the lice which affects the human here and the head and other region of it is our her body right the fish lice actually um, six to the fish uh, skin should I, skin scale or body should I say right and it also feeds on the blood from the fish so it's like a, a sucking vampire like a thingy right uh, it, it lives in both marine and, and, and freshwater environments all life stages of both sex are parasitic right so so the entire metamorphic stage changing stage of the, the dragonfly um, it, it no through the, all the stages of the the, the fish louse or uh, the fish lice it's all parasitic it attaches itself to the fish as you can see on the screen and it's, it, it just suck out the blood until you know the fish eventually die if it's not taken care of right so you'll see part of the fish um, skin or uh, our scale actually missing right and it also can affect the, the gills of the fish now fish lice is a member of a large group of brown I, I can't pronounce this word you see that below uh, crustacean right that infest and cause disease in fish more than a hundred of these fish lice exist and they can be found all over the world right um, it can It, it attached to, it, it, it attached itself to any section of the fish whether the head the, the fin the, the the body structure all of that and also the gills and you know of this section of the fish it makes it very irritant and remember it sucks the blood so eventually the fish if not taken care of will die i hope that this information was useful to you thank you very much for watching i appreciate it do have an awesome day peace out cool